Hello everyone, this is Teacher K and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Classes are about to start in some countries. Therefore, now is the best time to start preparing your first day of class activities and that should include icebreakers, especially get to know you. So if you're in for that, please keep on watching. These things that we will talk about can be done in physical learning and also distance learning. But of course, I will be sharing how you can use these icebreakers in your online classes or virtual meetings. You also have to tweak it a bit depending on your context. Also, as I discuss, I will show you how to apply these online icebreakers in two ways. First, without a collaboration platform meaning less preparation but it actually depends on the situation, definitely it will take more time and energy in doing these activities. Second way is using a collaboration platform. There are a lot of collaboration platforms that are free. You can use Mentimeter, you can use Jamboard by Google, you can also use Padlet or even Google Slides. And for these icebreakers that I will talk about, I will be using the platform Desco. Among those platforms that I mentioned, to be honest, I am currently fascinated with Desco. Although I did not watch any tutorial before using it, I could say that it's around 60 to 80 percent user friendly since I was able to figure out the necessary elements that I need. And among the platforms that I mentioned, Desco has more features that are very useful for collaboration. I am planning to do a further review on Desco, so if you have anything in mind or if you want me to do a tutorial, just comment down below. So let's start. Number one is BioTweet. Ask the students to describe themselves in a tweet, meaning it's just limited to 280 characters. I hope they all have a Twitter account because it's best to do that in that platform. All they have to do is tweet something about their bio and then take a screenshot of it and share it in class. Using Desco, you can ask your students to take a screenshot and post it on the board, just like this one. Second is eight nouns. Here, students are asked to provide eight nouns that best describe themselves. You can ask the students to type it in the chat section, but of course, it will take up so much time. In this activity, it is best to use a platform for collaboration. So using Desco, you can assign sticky notes with different colors for each student. What I mean by that is each student will have a set of eight sticky notes with the same color or the assigned color and that's where they will put their eight nouns. At the end of the activity, everyone should describe why each particular noun is a description of him or her verbally. So it's time for them to turn on their mics. Such descriptions can be shorter or longer depending on the professor's preferences. Third is truth and a lie. Learners must post two truths about themselves and one statement as a lie. Fellow members should be able to guess which statement is actually false. Using Daskal, you can ask the student to have three sticky notes, two for the truth statements and one for the false statement. Each member can vote for which statement they think is a lie by placing their assigned colored dot next to the lie. Once everyone has voted, reveal the correct answer and give team members the option to ask follow-up questions about any crazy statements. Number four, five pictures. Here, learners create a collage of five pictures or images that best describe themselves. These could be pictures they have already taken or images from other sources. Just make sure to have the learners cite the sources of images that are not their own. And learners should also describe how the pictures represent themselves. It's kind of hard to do this without a collaboration platform. So using Desco, simply ask the students to add those pictures on the board in their designated areas. Number five, quick questions. You can prepare some questions or look for templates already available in the internet. For the template fill in the blank, you can use when I dance, I look like, or my favorite celebrity crush is. 
You can also ask questions, who is your favorite Avenger character and why? Or if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you be and why? Or simple as, are you a morning or a night person? Or things like, what would you do if you have one million dollars? Using Deskal, you can display the question on the board in the style you prefer. Ask each member to write down their answer by placing their colored sticky note next to the question. After everything is done, ask the students or ask everyone to go through the answers and get to know each other. So those are some of the things that you can use for your first day of classes to get to know each other more. These can also be done in online meetings or virtual team buildings. As for Deskold, you can actually try it for free with the following features. But I highly suggest that you unlock those amazing features available in that platform by getting a monthly or annual subscription. Good news! I have a discount code for everyone. Just click on the link provided on the description box. And don't forget to input my discount code or promo code once you register. And I hope you enjoy collaborating with your class or your team. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and see you again next week. Once again, this is Teacher K. Have a great day. Bye!